What's up, everybody? We got a uh, nice little bush job today, and we got How's it going? our co-host Jeff here with us today. We're gonna knock this bush job out, hopefully, and and bring y'all along with us and let you see what we got going on today. We got the uh, we gotta take these down. We're just trimming them up. We're really not taking a lot off. We gotta knock the tops down a little bit, and <clears throat> we've got. All this really ain't gonna be much taken off, so it's not gonna look like we've done a whole lot. Um, but she just wants them cleaned up and evened up. We've got that whole back row back in there, and there's some more in the back. And then we told her we would just trim these up, knock the tops off of these few right here, and clean them up a little bit. So that'll go hopefully pretty good. It shouldn't take us a couple hours. Hopefully, we'll be done. That's our goal, anyway. Because, uh, you know. We, we like to get done. We just want to be here all day. So that's our goal. Oh, yeah, we, we got back problems today. Yeah. That'll make it even more fun. Yeah, we both just experiencing a little more than I am, but my back's a little stiff today and a little sore, I guess, just from laying around and sleeping wrong. But we're going to get it done one way or the other. We're not going to let anything get us down. We're not, we're not going to worry about it. Because <clears throat> we're not. Uh, we're not that, that type of people. We like to. Well, my uh, back pains are all yeah. the time. Yeah, Jeff experiences so, all the time, but today. It's a little worse today. Today is just a little worse, but mine, I think mine's just from sleeping wrong. It's just stiff. I think it's just weather change. That too, I guess. That and I got a birthday coming, so I'm getting old. Yeah, Jeff's got a birthday. You wanna tell them when your birthday is? November 11th. November 11th, y'all be looking out for Jeff. Y'all tell him. Happy birthday on his birthday. You can go ahead and tell him happy early birthday, but don't forget to tell him happy birthday on his birthday. Oh, and he's got a present today too. He's getting something in the mail that we're not gonna tell you about right now. We're gonna bring you back in a little while. We're gonna probably do an unboxing video on that. Yeah, that's what we should do. Yeah, yeah. It's something you don't see a whole, whole lot of. And Jeff found the really mint one, Phil. I hooked him up, I pointed him in the right direction and he made the deal happen with the guy. So he's got, he's got that coming today. We're not gonna, we're gonna tease you a little bit, so you gotta keep watching the video to uh, to see all of it. But we're gonna try to attempt to do a time lapse I've never done before, so we're gonna attempt a time lapse today, guys. So bear with me on that. We'll see how this turns out. So that way you can get to see the job, because I always forget that this phone of mine will do multiple things. So I mean, this phone, this camera on this phone's quite good i just forget that i have all these features because i don't ever use them so we're gonna see how that goes today so stay tuned and and you can laugh at me if we screw up i wonder what it'll look like if i fall during time lapse oh that'll be <laughs> you can laugh at us it'll probably be pretty funny yeah probably so <laughs> you can laugh at us if we do <laughs> anyway we're gonna get these machines here warmed up and then uh, get you on time lapse and get started so uh stay tuned more film we did our time lapse but uh we just got done I'll tell you right now we're out of shape it's been a while since we uh had a big job like this so but it was it wasn't bad overall it was enjoyable um the biggest part that we had trouble with today was running that pole hedge trimmer because it's on a telescopic shaft it's actually a pole saw telescopic shaft 
because steel doesn't make steel doesn't make one that long. So we needed something that would uh, get the job done. So uh, here's the finished result. Clean parking lot, got it all nice and trimmed. The tops ain't done, but that's over on the neighbor side. We did this section here. Um, we don't, we ain't gonna do the neighbor side because all that will end up over there. And that's a whole, whole nother job. This right here actually wasn't even the lady's um, actual bushes. All that stuff over there is hers. This here was not. We did this as a bonus, even though she didn't even ask us to. And she was very pleased with it. Guys, don't be afraid to uh, go the extra mile, especially for a new customer, and, and get something done for them, because they'll appreciate it. And uh, they'll definitely be calling you back as long as you do, do good work. And sometimes it don't hurt to go that extra mile. Um, but here we, we did all this, got this trimmed again. That right there is kind of in the neighbors. And we didn't want nothing to end up in their yard. We don't want to upset the neighbors. Nice straight hedge line. Trimmed all at the top. All done. Trimmed on back in there. Over here, all we really had to do over here, I had to straighten a, a, a few sprigs here but mainly just clean the top off is basically all we did here and just kind of smooth that edge over, kind of rolled that edge and made it look good. Basically all we, all we did there. Um, and then we went ahead and trimmed our hollies. Trimmed these hollies, Jeff. Got them done for me while I was doing the other. All these hollies right here and the these bushes did a nice job on them smooth them over got them done we just trimmed them to shape we weren't trying to make them all uniform because as you can see some of them are quite a bit bigger than others and if we make them uniform there wouldn't be no bush left on some of these big ones so we did that oh man. always pick up your trash on the job don't ever leave your trash behind or Make sure you do good cleanups, because cleanups is cleanups are a big thing, guys. It says a lot about you. And while you're working, I know it seems kind of stupid to some people, but while you're working, you can stop and get your mess up a little bit as you go. It saves you so much time. Yeah, because literally, I think it really does. It does. He's right. Yeah, our cleanup time was was astronomically faster than than uh, normal because we kind of cleaned up and had everything tidied up as we went we just had a few things to go back and straighten up but we'll take you back here and show you the back we didn't do a whole whole lot back here but we basically all she wanted was maintenance it's, it's all that needed to be done nothing crazy today so it was kind of kind of nice not having to do quite as much stuff like normal because a lot of times we get calls it's usually stuff that's way overgrown and customer yeah. Yeah, the whole rig, I think we were like almost 8,000 pounds with the trailer and the truck, and it was a 1,500 uh, Dodge. So we had, I think it was actually 2,000 pounds worth. Yeah. 2,000 pounds worth of bush clippings on the trailer. I had to mulch him, mulch him with the saw. Yeah, he was. To stack them and they get Mulching it. But. Here's what we got going on back here, guys. We got these trimmed up here. Um, just shaped them up for her, and this is another another extra that she didn't really ask for, so we just cleaned those up for her to kind of go along with everything else. But we just shaped everything up, smoothed it all over. And some of that stuff in that neighbor's yard. All that over there is on the neighbor's side. It'll end up falling right in the neighbor's yard, so we don't want to bother with it. But. This is a new customer we've just dealt with and she had somebody doing it, but they got out of the business of doing the hedges and she's got somebody that cuts her grass, but he don't do bushes. So we took care of that. Always go the extra mile. If you think you can do it and do a good job at it, get on it. Don't hesitate. And we just kind of nicked the, nicked the top of that one and cleaned it up a little bit. Smoothed it over for her. But anyway, 
That's the finished product, guys. Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for tagging along with us today. We're still not over yet. We still got that one surprise for you. We got to finish up and get get back to the house. So we're gonna stop this off right here. And we'll see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Here we are. We're finally home, and uh, we got the mystery package. So we're gonna go ahead and let Jeff do the honors because it's his his package, his his saw. So yes, I said saw. That's all that's the only hint he's yet. Without further ado, here we go. We got guest Roscoe here with us. That's my baby. Roscoe the fur baby. Pit bull baby. Good boy. Here we go. He's excited. He's been excited all day about this. Yeah, that's good. Looks like he put plenty in there. My wife is here. She'd be squeezing those and popping them. Yeah. She definitely likes to pop them. I have to pop a couple. <laughs> I'm like a kid. I gotta pop a couple. For some people, this stuff's like being a kid in a candy store. Seriously. Oh, what do we got here? I see Husky Orange. Well, of course it's Husky. <laughs> I'm not buying anything else. And there we go. I see spikes poking through. Anticipation. Oh, goodness. Look at that. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, for those that are thinking, it's not a 2100. Check that out. It's a baby 2100. It literally is a baby 2100. That's sweet. Excuse me a minute, guys. i got to locate my dog. He's right here. Okay. Roscoe. Hey, come here, buddy. Roscoe. Come on. He's licking on something. <clears throat> check this out. Let him check it out. Check this out. Hey. Get out of there. Get out of there. This is a clean old saw. Get out of there. It don't get much nicer than that, guys. Especially being 40 years old like this one is. It's sweet. We got a few little uh, dings on it like this right here, but that's not a big deal. The handle is slightly, slightly there bent, but this thing is very, very, very clean. Very Sorry, clean. Guys, it's even still got the stop sticker on there for the chain brake. Check that out. Yeah, it's a little bit faded. I want to buy one. On. Most of the paint's still on the muffler. It's undercarriage. It's not beat all up, which is very nice. All the most of the, all the paint's still on, except right in there. That's that's awesome. That is very awesome. Rim sprocket. The muffler, the Rim sprocket. Yeah. That's what a 2100 has. A proper 2100 has that, that deflector too. That one's still got everything on it. Oh. Still got all the got all the compression. It's got all the compression. That's pretty good. Oh, that's really good. It's falling nice and slow. That's what you want. This is how you can do a compression test, guys. For those that didn't know, if you're looking at uh, trying to buy a saw or something and you're you're curious as to what the compression feels like this is what they call the drop test you can hold it by the pull rope and the slower it falls the better the compression ideally you would want it to hold itself but that's asking a lot for a lot of saws yeah, it's, it's... but as long as it falls nice and slow that's what you want if it falls fast that means it's probably down on compression <coughs> But I know what you're all thinking right now. You're all thinking that you want to hear this thing run, so. I surely do. Tell, it, put some gas in it. tell this man to put some gas in this thing so we can get it started. We will bring you back in just a moment. All right, here we go. He's already got the saw primed up. He's pulled on a few times, so we had to figure out which way the switch was on, because on the 2100s and these saws, this piece right here sits on the switch, and it gets flipped around when people take the switch loose, so even though the sticker's there, Sometimes they can get backwards, <clears throat> but 
this one here is correct, but somebody had off engraved right here on it, so we weren't sure. Probably set it high yeah, I would probably set it, just be careful. The chain brake works on it too, which is surprising, but it's just really stiff right now. It just needs to be lubed up. <clears throat> but here we go. We'll set it once we get the right fuel in it. Actually, idling higher than most of them do. It's probably about right, though. It sounds good the way it is. The best way for us to get a right tune on it is going to be to get it nice and hot, get it in some wood. That way we can get the right tune put on it. <laughs> Got to break out the old computer and get it tuned. Got to flash that ECM. Yeah. That auto really nice. Guys, what I mean by flash that ECM, this is our tuner right here. Good old. Rip it wide open one time and hold it there for a second. It's oiling pretty good. It's, it's wet. That's a brand new bar and chain that he just put on it. It's actually going on the 562 and the big bar is going on this. I yeah. Just, I just threw this on it for right now. He threw it on there because he didn't feel like swapping it. I don't blame him because it's been a long day. <laughs> been a good day though overall actually. Work went pretty good. The job went pretty good today. And it's nice to come home to a nice present. I guess it'll be Jeff's birthday present to himself. <laughs> it's really not that bad. <clears throat> it's kind of heavy, but I mean, lightweight more. Well, it's literally almost all metal. The only thing that's plastic on this saw is the top cover and the trigger and stuff like that, obviously. But everything else is metal. This is back when. This is what you call a vintage muscle saw, guys. Husqvarna muscle saw. Set it on the tailgate where we can all see it some more. But yeah, now you can really see it in all of its glory. The new bar, all the paint still on it. 
most all the stickers are still intact other than I think one there's a professional professional sticker over here on the clutch cover that's gone there should be a sticker right here that says professional you can still see the remnants of it but the sticker itself is gone I'll get one to put on it's not a big deal though it's really it's in really nice shape I think this one here might have been replaced that one looks like it has been and maybe this one here they kind of sort of look like they have been but but you can buy I'm gonna buy the decal kit with all the Stickers. We're yeah. gonna do it right. Yeah, that's it'll be good. It'll be real good. Well, super stoked. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll have to get y'all a video of it in wood. It ain't gonna be long, and we're both we're both itching to cut some wood because I've got some saws to try out that y'all not seen or not seen in wood yet. We've got the 266 to show off, and I've got a couple other saws that have been kind of in the works that we really haven't shown. So we're gonna have to get those done and uh, get, them, get them out on some video. I've got three pine trees in my yard soon that we're probably gonna cut down, so you'll get to see all that, guys. We're gonna bring you, we're gonna bring you along for the ride. Show you yeah, everything. I think we're gonna, do, we're gonna do all old saws on that. Day. Yeah, we'll probably do vintage saws and, and stuff. I might try the 266 out, which is still technically an old saw, but we're probably gonna do old saws, maybe some polings and uh, stuff like that. So. You know Andrew's got to throw a hot rod in there somewhere. Yeah. We say we're going to do vintage saw, but he yep. sneaks it in there. That's okay. I can do that too. I got a 154. <laughs> yep. A little warm. I got to, got to, always got to have a hot rod in there. We got to keep the excitement. Got to have the hot rod people watching. We got to have y'all something I cool to watch. I eventually am going to sweep y'all off Andrew. Maybe, maybe <laughs> one day the hot rod in this one. Yeah, we might do some hot riding, might do some filming on that. We just got, we got to get our porting set up better. We got to get, get, uh, right now I'm porting with a, with a, uh, a cheap rotary tool. So I'm going to get me a, uh, a nice Dremel like bellhopper got so we can do, uh, make it a little easier on me. It's not that we don't do nice work now. It's just makes life easier and better when you've got nicer stuff to, to get the job done. So anyway. We're uh, glad that you're watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. And uh, if you're new, thank you. We appreciate you. Glad to have you here. Um, I don't know where you might have come from, but don't be afraid to get in the comments and let me know who you are and where you're from and all that good stuff if you want to. And uh, we'll appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Over and out.